We are calling this guy who called himself. Hello? Uh, let us see who is the princess, my friend. So are you going to insult or are you going to debate? Would you want to talk about Christian princess? Well, we are talking. If you want to call me princess, I will insult your prophet. So are you asking me to insult your prophet? Oh, uh, princess, I've heard you do it. Okay, well, you know what? You are a son of Muta, I like your prophet. Here we go. Howard. You can't even speak to them. I mean, you try to speak to them nicely, but they ask for it. Princess, well, I'm not the one who put eyeliner three times a day. It's your prophet. I am not the one who pissed sitting down like a woman. It's your prophet. I'm not the one who could not have sex. He prayed to Allah to send him a dish of shish kebab. That is your prophet. I'm not the one who'd kiss men down their belly. That's your prophet. I am not the man who take off my t-shirt so somebody can hug me and touch me all over. I'm not the one who offer my wife to somebody else. I'm not the one who offer you to do muta. And you are talking about princess. Shall I continue? Cowards. They insult. So you hang up on them. Then they will say he hang up on me. Princess. Are you son of Muta or you are a son of one night stand marriage? Have you ever heard of a prophet he make one night stand marriage? Two hours marriage? Travel marriage? Tourism marriage? All kind of a prostitution is marriage for you. And you are talking about princes, the one who have an honor, he will not accept to follow a religion. If you divorce your wife, she have to go and if somebody in order to come back to you. And you are talking about who is the princess? Obviously you are. What is your honor? <laughs> Imagine your daughter, her husband divorced her three times and she have kids from him. She want to go back for the sake of her kids. Now she have to go and if somebody else in order to come back. And he is talking about princess. You brought all this insult to your prophet and your religion. It's your handmaid. <laughs> Muta is, I marry a woman temporarily, and then I divorce her and I pay her. So you admit that unlike Sunni Muslims who say that Muta is abrogated, it's done I away. I can debunk that. Okay, before you debunk it, hear me out. The Sunni say it's abrogated, it's zinna. Unlike the Sunni, you admit and agree, no, it's not abrogated. It's still something we can enjoy, right? Correct. Good. On, man, you, I really like you because you're very honest. So let me ask you a very honest question and be honest before God. If I'm a Shia and I come up to your sister, and I'm just giving it, I'm not trying to attack you. I just want you to understand why we who are non-Muslims, when we see this, it disgusts us. If I come to your sister and I say, I want to marry your sister for three days, we'll go to the imam, we'll do whatever we need to do. But after three days, when I'm done with her, I'm going to divorce her and pay her money. Wait, uh, just one quick question. Are you a Shia Muslim? Are you assuming yeah, that you're Shia? I'm a Shia. Let's say okay. I'm a Shia. Okay, so the ruling, so, okay, so the ruling is uh, if you're marrying, if you're temporarily marrying my virgin sister, you must ask our permission. It would okay. be up to my discussion. So I ask you, and yeah. on what grounds would you say no? On what grounds would I say no? Um, yes. Because muta is being performed in the Shia world. So obviously there are people who are saying yes. So let's not play the game that everyone says no. So let's assume I go to a Shia family and I say to them, I'm going to marry your sister for three days and then I'm going to divorce and pay her. And they say yes. Please convince me you would be okay with someone doing that to your sister or if someone. If my sister is okay with it. If it's with this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah. you mean so, a single woman would be okay with that? Hmm? A moral woman would be okay with being paid to have sex with a man. You, you have to get her permission as well as ours. I can't okay. force her into it. That's just what I'm trying to get at. Which morally sane woman who has any decency would say yes to such a practice when the purpose of the practice is the man to have sex with me unless the woman herself is a whore who just wants to have sex? Well, that's because the thing. The, this situation is not common. It won't happen. I guarantee It's that. not common. You're telling me that in predominantly Shia countries, where the Shia are the majority, it's not common. Who are you kidding, man? You trying to kid me? No, I'm not trying to kid you. You're, from you're, what you're I know. Doing it in England. There are Shia in England. One who I spoke to years ago in Paltak is, oh, I'm about to go do muta marriage. 
with someone who wasn't even a Muslim. It was one of these English women, native English woman. He goes, oh, I'm, I'm busy. I'll talk to you later. This was on Paltak years ago. I go, what are you doing? I'm going to go do a muta marriage with this English woman. You're doing it all over. You're doing it in England. You're doing it in America. You're doing it in Shia countries. Don't, dude. We're not That's crazy. Because, listen, if it's an English woman, how do you, it's not a Shia. So your whole analogy was that uh, you're a Shia person you know asking why? another Shia person no, no. for Shia okay, sister. You know why? Because your Quran says you can marry Jews and Christians. Chapter yeah. 5. five. Yes. So you're telling me you can't do muta with a Jewish woman or a Christian woman? You can. I'm saying that your analogy you can, right? is terrible. Yeah, yes, you can. You can. You can. Thank you. That's all I'm getting at. So you just convinced me. You just made my point. He was doing muta with a Christian girl who was okay with it because she was a Christian by name. Because a decent Christian woman who loves Jesus would say, the hell with you, you satanic bastard. I'm no whore. <laughs> it's pretty yeah. much prostitution. Yeah. I mean, how does that tell you morally? Like what Sam was saying, somebody tells your sister, your own sister. What does your conscience tell you about that? Well, uh, if I had a sister, I would leave it up to her opinion. Okay. And you'd be okay with that. Honestly, before God, you'll be okay with your sister. Say again that, please. I, I Say again I what would... you said about your sister. Say I again what you said about your sister. I think I would, uh, if I had a sister, I think I would, you know, I would probably see. The, uh, first of all, I'm not even the, the, the wali. Uh, it's it's the father who actually has the permission. But let's say I was the father. Okay, let's change it to my daughter. Um, I think I would probably look at. The, I think I would probably look at the qualities of the man. I mean, I, I have that option as well. No, I'm not just. It's not just about the qualities, man. The guy's going to only be with your daughter for three days. How much qualities can he have for you to look at? I don't know. I feel like you're very tight on this three day analogy. Okay, but six honestly, six I've six never, months. I've never seen under six months. Yeah. Okay, good. You're okay with someone marrying your daughter for six months and then divorcing your panger? Yeah. Come on, listen to yourself. Yeah, because this listen can to always yourself. lead to permanent marriage. There's no issue with this. It's one thing to marry someone for permanent marriage. I'm going to marry her till I die. And it doesn't work out. You divorce. Okay. That happens all the time. That's not what muta is. Muta, you're stipulating a time period. I'm going to marry mm -hmm. her for six months and divorce her. Now, after six that months, I want to spend it for... Come on, dude. Be serious. Be yeah, honest. Being, okay, 100% honest? Yeah. You're From okay with what? it? Well, I don't really see an issue of how this would destroy our religion, to be honest. But it destroys religion because it turns women into whores and prostitutes where you pay them for sex for money. This is legalized prostitution. What do you mean how it doesn't destroy religion? No, we believe that prostitution is when someone marries without the intent, uh, without, without a contract. That is our definition of prostitution. Okay. So you redefine prostitution mean if I go sleep with a woman without a marriage contract, but as long as I write a marriage contract saying I want to sleep with you for six months, call it marriage and divorce you and pay you money, and you still don't see that's prostitution. My goodness. No, wow, what, nowhere in our scripture does it say that that's prostitution. That's the whole point. That's why we reject your scripture, because if it's from God, who's morally perfect, he would never denigrate women to that level of treating them as sexual meat as whores, but then disguising it as marriage. Thank you. That's our point. Okay. All right. I, I understand what, what you're trying to say. <laughs> 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 <laughs>